Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. So today's video is just a budget update. We're going to keep things rolling along as the month of April uh, keeps rolling along. So the last video you saw from me was just my budget. So remember, I just did the budgeted column, what I think things are going to be. So since that time, I have gotten paid and my actual payroll deposit is $2,933.76. And I went ahead and put that number in, but I've also received a kid's deposit. So I'm gonna put that number in right now. Um, that was $224.50. Now again, uh, these are just very strange numbers to me because I've never seen that number before. I just recently saw 226, then it was 208. And so again, they're just different. So I'm gonna just put myself a note in here that says um, 43, 224, 50. I just like to make sure that I keep up with what came in, what when, in case I do have to uh, have questions or anything like that. You know, he's been doing good, and so I'm, I don't ever complain about it. But if for court purposes something doesn't come in, then I'll have my records. So anybody that is getting child support, court ordered child support, even if it's not court ordered and y'all have like a an agreement arrangement, always keep your records. Not to have something hanging over the other person, but just in case, you know, I'll be able to say, yeah, this came in. Even if something is wrong on his side, and he'll say, hey, did you get a payment this week? I can go back and look and see. Just, you know, it doesn't always have to be a bad reason that you're um, keeping records or that type of thing. I just want to be clear and up and up on everything. So I'm going to take you to my week one expenses now that I put in my two twenty four fifty from child support and show you what we're looking like. Alrighty, you guys. So I hope you can see these numbers pretty clearly. So here is the first week of April. This actually starts April the 1st, which is Tuesday. And so what I've gone ahead and done is paid my mortgage at nine fifty. So my mortgage is nine forty seven. It's nine forty seven seventy five, and I just paid up to two fifty. What happened was, uh, because of my escrow again and those property taxes going up in the county where I live, property taxes have just continued to rise because uh, we were in a huge um, before everything happened. Stuff was just popping up like crazy in a big, huge growing spurt. And so $34 a month, I was short on my escrow is what they averaged it in to be. So again, I was paying 901 and then the it was recalculated to about 910 or something. And then they added on $34. So anyway, 947 is what I was paying. And I just rounded it up to 950. Next year, I think if I end up owing escrow, I'll just try to do the lump sum payment and not spread it out. I thought it wasn't going to be as much, but it's it's perfectly fine. Able to cover it, no problem. My um, electric, which I did fix that um, spelling. Thank you so much for catching that error for me. Don't know how I haven't seen it before. Um, Electric and heating was 101.79, which was a drastic reduction from last month at 119 and some change. My water bill also was down about 12 bucks, 61.18. Also had my internet, which was 74.99. Moving down further. Okay, for my lawn care, I haven't had my lawn done yet, but I always make an adjustment for that. $60.00. The lawn guy is coming this afternoon, and I know some people have asked me, why don't we cut the yard? Uh, last year, we had a college student cutting the yard. He actually is back home, and I did reach out to him again to see if he wanted to still cut the yard because they sent them home because of you know everything going on. He said he would prefer to not do his own business anymore. Perfectly fine. I have another person that is I met with. They gave me an estimate, all the paperwork. 
they're gonna come down and cut the yard. The reason why we don't cut the yard and save the $60 is because Jackson's allergies are severe. So my yard guy last year worked with Jack to help him learn how to cut the yard, but Jackson always does bad with the allergies. It's he has severe outside allergies and he loves outside. Uh, so I just make a conscious effort to save a thousand dollar emergency room copay when he has an asthma attack versus $60 uh, to have somebody cut the grass. Also, Alana has grass and tree allergies and then mom also has allergies. So it just doesn't work out for our family. So I do realize that some people do not pay for their yards to get cut. God bless you. I am so thankful that you do not have that issue. Neither do I have a husband to cut my yard. So I just have somebody come do it. You know, I always think about it. I can pay $60 to have somebody cut my yard or I can eat fast food. I'd rather not eat the fast food because then I have to deal with the fast food weight gain. So I'll just pay somebody to come and cut the yard. Hey, I look at it. Is no problem. Moving down as far as regular payments. Okay, the only regular payment that I had this month is Taekwondo because I don't have a student loan. We haven't ordered anything on Amazon Prime. We haven't ordered anything on Amazon Prime. I went on trying to find toilet paper and it was two months out before it could get here. So I was like, okay, never mind. So nothing there. Pure Flix does not come back renewal until May 1st. So I'm good for the month. Healthways Gym, I'm on a free month because of everything happening. Uh, Taekwondo is coming. Uh, I did pay that because they're a small business. Everybody is just out. And you know, here's the thing I thought about as well. A lot of people say, well, support your small business, especially with restaurants and stuff. They're like, okay, order because you can still do curbside pickup or delivery or whatever. And people are ordering from local restaurants and different things every day. They're ordering from one place. By the time you order from one place all month long, you've spent this much money supporting small business. We don't order out. We don't do curbside service. We don't do delivery. So I figure, hey, we can support this small business by just paying our tuition. Prayerfully, when the, everything is, is over, we'll be able to go back to this and we would have been doing our part. We don't know how long they will be closed. We don't know how long we will support. But right now, that's what we're doing. They're actually having uh, online classes starting next week, which is very good. And they're having all the same regular classes that they were having. And so that's going to be lovely. So we'll see how that goes. Moving back up one to um, kids insurance. Kids insurance will actually come due on the 24th. And I'm making myself a note. Uh, kids insurance and that's going to be $36 It's $18 for each kid for their um, insurance we have through the credit union so I'll pay make sure that comes out in the next coming weeks moving down so my only regular payments was Taekwondo for this month my food expense $300 so that does say there's a note there see what the note says it says $250 for groceries and $50 grocery card. Well, um, I need to make another note. Uh, I can put it here as a reply. I did $50 to uh, BS3 because we got blessed with a gift card. So when a $50 gift card came in, I just took $50 out of the $62.50 that I was going to use for groceries and just went ahead and uh, uh, transferred that over to my baby step number three. So technically for this week, I have $12.50 for groceries if I need to use that. But if I don't, then I'll take that extra $12.50 and move it to baby step number three. That's very important in these next coming months is to save as much as we can to try to build up my uh expenses so that baby step in case we have expenses so i'm trying very diligently to save as much as possible into that baby step so that's what i did somebody blessed us with the 50 dollar gift card and i just went ahead and moved 50 of the grocery money into the baby step 
All right, moving down, personal expenses. Um, hair care, I don't know why that doesn't say. That should say 60 because I went ahead and moved that $60 also into baby step number three. That money has already been moved. So instead of um, using it to get our hair done, because nobody is doing hair right now, I just put it in baby step number three. And I, I did have a person ask me, why didn't I just say all those expense categories went to baby step number three and not put them in the specific um, line item? I just like to keep it clear because if I'm going back trying to figure out where my hair money went and why I don't have hair money there, that would bother me. So knowing that, hey, yeah, I did have it allocated for hair, but I moved it to baby step three because nobody was doing hair. All the hair shops are closed. That's just something for me that makes sense. It may not make sense for anybody else, but again, that's just my process. Actually, I'll need to go back up here. And put in my health wage gym, which was 25. I didn't pay that. I moved it to baby step number three because the gym is closed. So I just gonna say BS3 because the gym is closed. And that for me, again, that's just my process. Remember, budgets are subjective. How you allocate your money is subjective. You make it work how you can understand it. When I go back and try to reconcile these categories, I need to be able to jog my memory about what I did. Um, miscellaneous house didn't have any expenses there, but for the kids, because today is Friday, I am going to put $50, and that is going to be their savings of money for this week. Can I tell you, those little kids are rolling, man. They doing good. So I'm going to say um, savings accounts. Because uh, I'm very consistent with trying to put money into their accounts. Their dad sends money. I think it just makes good sense to put money there if I'm able. So, hey, right? Uh $40, that's for Gracie's food. We still haven't gotten her food yet, and it's the 4th of April. She does have to have food now. So we're going to grab her a big bag. We usually get a big bag, and whatever we don't use, we put in the freezer, and she's good for the month or more. Okay, this $200, which I had for gas, um, that went ahead, and we put that in baby step number three because I got that gas check, right? So this went to BS3. Um, Cause I got a gas check from February. So because that happened, I didn't need this money to go to gas because I'm not driving right now, I'm working from home. So I just went ahead and put that money in there Nothing for oil changes, anything like that. Moving down. Now, the last few expenses that I do have are my tithe. My uh, tithe is 500. And then over here for the kids deposit, we will have $23 there. Oh, you know what? See, I made a mistake already. Look at me. Right? So I already put the 285 there, but I also calculated it up in their categories which so let me see what i wrote here all right let's see what it says in my little note it says i did 200 for my gas 60 for hair care and 25 for the health ways right so i already made myself a note so I'm going to go back up and make sure I take that money out because if I don't, it's going to overcharge me twice. But the note is still there. So that's perfectly fine. We can leave the note there with no problem. And then moving down, let's make sure that I'm still on week one for the new things I just put in, the $50 for the kids' savings. 
and then the $23 for the time. And I'll do that via PayPal. So I always pay that via PayPal. So, so far, um, my total expenses are right at, I'm going to take us back to the budget sheet, right? So I have $3,158.26. I have already made uh, payments on mortgage, utilities, water. I've done my um, internet. I need to do my cell phone. I have my lawn care. Um, life insurance, I did put in the budgeted category because I got the bill. So I just went ahead and updated that. Taekwondo is paid. Groceries I've allocated for. Hair and nails I made an allocation for. Miscellaneous kids. Gracie's food. Gas, I made that allocation already. And then my tithe. And then here is my savings. So to date, I have spent $2,770.96, leaving me with $387. Now, $250 of that is the grocery money. That's still, no, because the grocery money's already out. So let's go back and see what I didn't take out yet. My cell phone bill has not come out yet. The kids insurance has not come out yet. Oh, and because I had some extra money in there because of the kids deposit. So I need to go in and allocate for the kids deposit. So I have 224, I'm going back to the week one and I'm gonna be on Friday, right? So let's make some, some notes here. All right, 23 is going for the tithe. That's going to give me 201. 50 is going in the kids' um, savings. That's going to give me 151. So for transferring money into savings, because I don't have anywhere else to go, nothing to buy, no, nowhere to be, nothing to do, and we have all the things that we need. I've got a grocery gift card. I have grocery money as far as what's left over in my accounts. I'm going to transfer $151.50 to savings. And so that's going to give us an additional savings for the month. Now, again, remember your income, your savings, your process will be different than mine. I don't have debt except my home. I paid my mortgage. I'm not paying more than what my mortgage is right now because I'm trying to fund just in case we run into any issues. And again, I know some people say, well, why would you use child support to fund your emergency fund? Well, remember what I've told you before. I pay Taekwondo ahead. So whatever comes in, 325 of those dollars is mine because... I use dad's money to recoup that because that's his activity. I say that's what he pays for is their Taekwondo. But I have to pay it up front and I wait for him to recoup that money. So technically, this is my money, right, that I'm recouping. I still get another $150, $50 plus dollars to recoup my $325. Right now, because I do pay all the bills out of my income, what I make, I don't count his money at all. Um, it's covered. So right now I'm just putting everything I can into that baby step. And that's just going to help us down the line. And then if we go back and look, now if I go back and look, I should be spot on. Okay, $2,922 has been allocated for leaving me with 235.80 left. 120 of that goes to my cell phone bill and that just leaves a little bit of cushion in there for the $36 for kids insurance. That's an automatic debit. I don't get to um I don't just can pay that. It just debits out of my checking account since it's through the credit union. So anyway, 
This is what we're looking at minus 120. So that gives me about $115 minus 36. Now I'm down to about, you know, 70, 80 bucks in the account, which is good to just have a little cushion in there just in case anything happens. At this point so far, 436.50 has gone into the um, emergency fund. And a lot of people are like, well, you know, how are you? You're not building it fast enough. I'm building it with what I can. I don't have any additional income sources coming in right now. So I just have to pick and pull from where I have the money. So again, 436, that's almost $500 that's gone into that account, which is going to take us over $1,000 just in baby step number three. This is aggressive or gazelle intense for my amount of income that I have. Dave Ramsey's baby step number three says you're saving three to six month worth of expenses, not income, expenses. My expenses are about $3,000 a month. So I'm looking at between nine and $18,000 that I have to save in a very short amount of time, just in case something happens like what is happening with uh, losses of jobs and things. Again, we're able to work from home, which is a blessing. Let me just tell you, it's such a blessing. Um, so anywho, there it is. Uh, just from what we needed, 3255 and I'm at 3190 you know, something in there. I wasn't very far off. So anything else that comes in for the month is automatically going into baby step number three, just in case the kids and I run into any problems. We do have baby step number one fully funded, no problem. And so there it is. I feel really good about where we are right now. I feel really good about making the decisions that we made. And if something were to happen and I needed to pick and pull a few bucks from here, I'm good with that. But I also have my $1,000 emergency fund that I can pick and pull from that as well. So there it is, you guys. Just wanted to share that update for that money. I'm trying to make sure that I budget and allocate for each and every dime that comes in, especially in these times because... We never know what's coming down the pipeline. So if you have any questions about this budget, leave us a comment down below. If you have any um, thoughts on anything, any any kind suggestions, we'll take those. Thank you very much. Um, if you're doing well, please let us know that your, your budgeting is going well, your savings is going well. If you have been one that's been laid off or you've lost a job during this time, we do pray that the Lord would come in and meet your needs because everybody is in a situation. We get it. Nobody, I'm not showing these budgets to uh, prove to anybody what I have or I have more than you. This is just what I do and it's how I process even through these tough times. So I'm still just moving right on. It's been things like this that are pushing me into the, you know, get that savings going, girl. We got to move along because it's no time to be playing games. So I think that is helpful for me to continue to put it down on paper and for you to see it, those who follow the budgeting portions of my videos. So anyway, again, thank you guys so much for stopping by. Thank you so much for your continued support. All of the likes, comments, the dislikes, which I don't like, but hey, it is what it is. The likes, the shares, the comments, all the things help grow our channel. We are growing continually. Every day I'm seeing new subscribers, so I do appreciate that. It just helps us. If you like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up. Share it if you feel like somebody would benefit from it. There's some good nuggets in here. Again, single mom, raising kids, never thought I would be out of consumer debt, and here I am, praise God. So there it is. Got to run, do a few things around here. So thank you guys so much for stopping by our channel. If you like it, thumb it up. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye, y'all.